Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of the Solar Water Movement. In this episode, we face the world's deadliest animal. Let's get moving. over 3,500 species of mosquitoes in the world and killing over 725,000 people a year. Something has to be done to eradicate and slow down the population growth of mosquitoes. When I originally developed this product, I wanted to have the greatest impact in all of the water that I was able to facilitate. I discovered after researching and using the product in water troughs, ponds, aquaponic systems that the mosquitoes laid their eggs in stagnant water and while most people think this is a problem I saw it as a solution and so I knew that we had to find a way to lure the mosquitoes to lay their young in our water by mimicking the carbon dioxide distribution from decomposing organic materials we partnered up with Garden City Fungi XLCO2 bag these are issued directly to us with our kits and we actually sink these into the water and they emit carbon dioxide on the surface. It's a mycelial fungus that emits carbon dioxide. The reason that we had to do that was because with the water circulating all day long with the solar pump there was no carbon dioxide efficient or sufficient enough to attract them to lay their eggs. With the pump and the lure in a container of water, we found that the female mosquitoes in the area were laying their eggs. They tend to lay uh, every couple days up to 300, typically in clusters, like a small raft. And we're gonna show you what that looks like. Stagnant water gathers carbon dioxide from the air. When you move the water, you displace the gas. Depending on the temperature of the air, the gases will move faster or slower. In the evenings, gases move slower because the sun has gone down. In the same way, our solar pump stops moving right at dusk. When they come in and lay their eggs at night, they believe the water is still, emitting carbon dioxide from the CO2 bag. During the day, the movement from the salrail solar pump keeps the gases from collecting on the surface of the water, thus preventing evaporation and preventing attracting mosquitoes, which is where the CO2 layer comes into play. As night draws near, and the sun goes down, shutting down the pump. The CO2 distributor here, the mycelial fungus, begins to emit carbon dioxide at the surface of the water. We've measured it at a thousand parts per million. Now, our kits do come with a suction cup, but we just wanted to show people that you can just use a very heavy rock because this mushroom bag here floats like a boat. You're gonna replace that once a year, and that's it. Well, we're very happy to be able to provide the world with the Zalril Mosquito Pump. These filters actually allow the eggs to be passed through and terminated by the pump motor. Our mission is to depopulate mosquitoes in domesticated regions where we work and play keeping your neighborhood safe. This complete kit is solar powered, chemical free, and is the solution to the world's mosquito problems. It does it all with an organic mushroom layer. We're very proud of what we've done. And basically what it does is the female mosquito comes in and lays her eggs 
and then in the morning when the pump turns on they're submerged underwater. Uh, this system shuts off at dusk and that's when the mosquitoes activate and the CO2 device here which is a mushroom emits the carbon dioxide at the surface of the water. Uh, we're ready to get this complete kit to you. Go to greenvisionsales.com that's greenvisionsales.com or find us on Amazon by searching for the Audios Mosquitoes Fountain Kit. We hope that you like this show and please if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do so below and make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Watch some of our other videos and see all the ways that we're impacting and changing our community and ultimately our world.